Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. Today I want to chat with you guys about some of my favorite frugal or slash free things. Let's get started and talk about it. Okay, one of the things that I is a recent purchase that I absolutely love that I consider frugal is I bought this heavy duty wonderful cardigan. It's purple, it's super thick, got it from Women Within. It was originally like $85. And I got it for, I think, $24, which is a good deal. It even has pockets on it, which I don't know about you guys, but I love when I have pockets. They're nice, thick, sturdy pockets. The buttons are thick. It's super comfy and super cozy. I absolutely love it, and I feel it was worth the $24 because I'll have it for a long time. Another thing, I've mentioned it before, Man, I don't go to the library per se, but I do have a library card, and because of that, I have the Libby app on my phone. I've read over 80 books this year. Didn't have to pay for any of them. I know I've mentioned this. I love to read. I love to watch certain TV shows, and I love to watch movies. But most of the things I watch or read, I wouldn't call them a keepsake. Most of them are pretty forgettable. I guess I have high standards on what I find entertaining. So most of the books I read, I would want to own anyway. And so this Libby app is perfect. And then if there is something I love that I feel would be a keepsake book, something that I want to have that I can refer back to, then I can read or look at it and then decide I want to purchase it. So far, I haven't purchased anything, but just thought I'd mention. Okay, you guys know I've talked about this one a long time ago. I used to go to thrift stores all the time. As a matter of fact, 80% of our clothing came from thrift stores. No longer the case because I feel thrift stores basically are clearance prices and I can get a brand new clothes for cheaper than I can do thrift stores now. Okay, I got this Christmas sweatshirt about five years ago at a thrift store, maybe a little over five years ago, for $2. It is super comfortable. I think it's cute. It washes really well and it's lasted. And at the same thrift store, I got this cute Christmas cardigan sweater that has little poinsettias on it. I, this was also, I think, $2. Super comfy. And I mean, that's what thrift store prices should be, in my opinion. Okay, my husband brought this into our marriage. This is one of my favorites. This is a little grabber. This is so convenient. You can use it for anything. We have a special home for this because one time this got lost. And I'm going to tell you, this grabber comes in handy. You drop something behind the refrigerator, you can reach back and get it. This can You can use this for so many things. I love it. And it was free, and I know my husband loves it. I actually wouldn't mind having a second one as a backup. Okay, my husband bought these for a dollar. I'm going to tell you something. Having a back scratcher, I don't use it all that often. We actually have three of these. It is wonderful. If you are, let's say you're all by yourself and no one's at home and your back itches and you can't reach it, this thing is fabulous and it was only a dollar. Okay, last but not least, and I'm going to give you my opinion on this. this. These are some clearance candles. I think these were 75 cents, okay, because it was fall. That was a good deal. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. I do like clearance candles and I like getting candles from other places. And I've had all different kind of candles, but my favorite candles are the Bath and Body Works candles, but I only buy them when they're on sale. And so I can't really put those out here and say it's my favorite frugal thing because Bath and Body Works candles are not frugal, but they're my favorite. So these are just some favorite frugal things. I'm sure I have much more if I were to think about it. I want to ask you guys, what's in your house right now? It could be clothing. It could be anything that you got free or frugal that you use all the time that you feel you got a great value and you love it. And let me know if any of you have the Libby app and use that. I'm just curious. If you find this information valuable, please consider subscribing. We sure would love to have you. I love you. I appreciate your time. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.